Raytheon Intelligence and Space and Core teamed up to defeat multiple mortars and large drones with striker mounted high energy laser. Incinerating drone from a ground combat vehicle introduces a new air defense technology and tactic of great significance to future concepts of combined arms maneuver. Raytheon Intelligence in Space and Core teamed up to defeat multiple mortars and large drones with striker mounted high energy laser. In four weeks of continuous live fire exercises as far back as 2022, an industry team led by Raytheon Intelligence in Space, a Raytheon Technologies, and MySSE, RTX Business, and Cord, a wholly owned subsidiary of KBR, with a 50 kilowatts class high energy laser integrated on a striker combat vehicle. The Directed Energy Weapon System, part of the U.S. Army's Directed Energy Maneuver Short Range Air Defense, or DMSJSHO RAD, acquired, tracked, targeted and defeated multiple mortars and successfully accomplished multiple tests simulating real-world scenarios. Continuing to put the DMSHAORAD system to the test, the recent operational assessment at White Sands Missile Range also included defeating several small, medium and large drones. Soldiers in the field face increasingly complex threats, and our combat-proven sensors, software, and lasers are ready to give them a new level of protection," said Annabel Flores, president of Electronic Warfare Systems for Raytheon Intelligence and Space. The Army gave us our toughest challenge yet, countering rockets, artillery, and mortars, and we took an essential step on the path to providing the maneuverable, short-range air defense soldiers need. The day MSSHORAD effort is aimed at protecting soldiers against various aerial threats, including unmanned aircraft systems, rotary wing aircraft, rockets, artillery, and mortars. CORD serves as the primary integrator of the system on the Striker Combat Vehicle, while Raytheon Intelligence in Space provides the 50 kilowatts class high energy laser weapon module, a specialized radar acquisition system, a beam control system, and targeting sensor. This team once again showed that the HEL system is fully integrated and ready to provide protection against complex threats, said Byron Bright, president of KBR Government Solutions. With an effectively infinite magazine and near zero cost per shot, HEL is now the proven answer to asymmetric threats like drones and mortars. The U.S. Army is evaluating additional 50 kilowatt platforms as it seeks to buy short-range air defense laser weapons, even as its initial four prototypes deployed in U.S. Central Command's area of operations, a service official told Defense News. Three of the Army's Directed Energy Maneuver Short-Range Air Defense Systems, or DMSSHORAD, are in IREX so the service can experiment with the capability in relevant operational environments. The fourth and last prototype will join the other three after getting some work done, said Lieutenant Jen Robert Rash, the service's Rapid Capabilities and Critical Technologies Office Director. All four will be downrange supporting our soldiers in the fight today, he said. What we're giving up a little bit is our ability to learn how to integrate that capability into the maneuver force, so we have some work to do on the back end. We're still capturing data. The Army Test and Evaluation Command is downrange with us.